Hi there, my name's Donquap. I'm sure we all remember our first kiss, like who, who we did it with, uh, how did it happen, uh, what led up to it, where it was, pretty much like every little detail about how this first kiss happened. I got my first kiss when I was seven years old. Now, some of you might think, oh, that, that doesn't count, that doesn't, you're seven, you, you fucking, you barely, you, you don't even know what a vagina is. You, first kiss do, doesn't count, all right? I do count it, and let me tell you why. So, when I was seven, I had a best friend. I'm sure most of us had uh, a best friend at one point or another. I, I didn't have too many friends, but I did have one best friend that I really, really liked and cared about. His name, uh, we'll, we'll just call him Pat for now. His name was Pat. So Pat, he was like the perfect best friend. He, he would do whatever you wanted to do. Like you ask Pat, hey, you wanna go color something? All right, let's go. Hey, you wanna go play tag? Yeah, sure. Hey, you wanna come to my church so we can pee in the holy water? Um, okay. No matter what it was, Pat was always up for it. He was that guy. He was the guy who was nice to everyone, everyone liked him, and he was my best friend. So, me and Pat were like inseparable. But one day, a new kid shows up. And this new kid, uh, we'll, just, we'll just call him Dickhead. His name was Dickhead. Now, Dickhead and I did not get along. Because Pat, he was, like I said, he's super nice. So, when the new kid came along, Pat treated him like just, he was the one guy who was nice to him and Dickhead started to like him. And so he and Dickhead started to become, you know, friends. And I was not okay with that. That is not okay because, because Pat was my best friend. You know, that's, he's my best friend. He's not your Dickhead, he's mine. So one day during gym class, uh, we're supposed to, usually we, partner up and we stretch together and we do all these uh, like weird things together and usually I'm partnered up with, uh, with Pat. But on this particular day, Pat decided that he was going to partner up with Dickhead. Now as anyone knows, when you're sort of left out of your usual, usual partner, you have to go and like partner up with the kid that nobody likes. And since this was with other seven year olds, I had to go and partner up with the one disgusting kid that no one even went close to. Like, this kid, we'll just, we'll just call him, I don't, I don't, his name was Adolfo, there you go. I don't care about this kid. But like, he, he'd pick his nose in like class and then pick his ass at the same time. He, he was disgusting, like no one liked him. So I was furious, I was furious with Pat, all right? Like, how could you pick dickhead over me? You're my best friend, not dickheads. So I took Pat outside at recess and I just, I, I just reamed him. I like, I was saying, we're not friends anymore. You're, you're the worst best friend ever. I don't ever want to see you again. I don't even want to talk to you. Okay. All because he wouldn't stretch with me at gym class and Pat being, you know, who he was and he was like super nice and he wanted to make everyone feel comfortable. He said to me, I I'm sorry. I upset you. I uh, I'm really sorry. What can I do to make this better? How can, we, how can I fix our friendship? I looked at Pat and I said to him, you, you have to do something to prove to me that I'm more important than dickhead. You have to do that. Well, what, what do you want me to do? What, what, what can I do? I thought about it for a second and I said to him, you have to do something that you haven't done with anyone else. You, you have to kiss me to prove to me that you are my friend. And Pat being this kid who was like amazingly accepting, who just wanted everyone to like him and everyone to get along, said to me, um, okay, but I'm not very good at kissing. And when you're seven, you don't, you don't know how to kiss someone. You don't, I, I just, I, I saw it on like an anime like once someone was kissing each other and I didn't I didn't know people kissed each other on the cheek or the forehead even like I just I just, I just saw it on TV once and I decided I'm gonna tongue blast him and I, I really did this for like like half of a year like every recess I would take Pat behind the equipment shed for five minutes and uh, I would kiss him now this it wasn't gay Okay, it wasn't gay. I wasn't, I wasn't 
in love with Pat. I mean, I did love Pat, but I didn't, I wasn't in love with Pat. I just loved him. I don't know if that, does that make sense? I, I wasn't kissing him the same way a gay couple would kiss each other. I was, I was, you, you know how animals pee on things that belong to them? I was sort of marking my territory. In case Dickhead ever tried to kiss Pat, he would know that I was there first. For some reason, I assumed that Dickhead would want to kiss Pat as well. And there wasn't any, like, love to it, I just... I, I, I even I even tried to turn these things into manly competition. Like I tried to turn the gayest thing in the world into a, 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 a manly sport. I would call them, we're gonna go behind the shed and we're gonna do a kissing fight. Like we're gonna see who can kiss each other harder. And so for like half a year, I would take Pat behind the tool shed and just have these kissing fights we started. And I, I think I think our friendship grew stronger because of it. I, I sincerely think that because uh, after after because I, I moved to another school at, at the end of the year, and th that's how I stopped kissing him. It's because I didn't I didn't see him anymore. But but I, I met him a few years later, and we were still we were still we got along fine. And you know, and I I think that is what a true friend is. You know. So the moral of this story is if you want a best friend, you have to kiss the fuck out of them.